Today we got a good one. So first impression is that these things are sweet. Very white, which means they're going to probably get very dirty, but look at that gold down there. There is a sticker that does warn you this gold is going to wear off, but right now it looks awesome. Just for comparison, this is the last cleat that I owned. This was used for one season and I clean these all the time and you can see that they are still pretty worn, pretty dirty especially the bottom, so I don't expect to keep these things clean for long, especially once we get out there and use them today, but man, they're these are super light compared to these. These are gonna be lower ankles, so that will be a difference that I will, uh, I'll have to get used to, but just look at this thing. Always really envied players that had cleats where if you took the spikes off, just looked like a cool shoe, and this is it. When my nephew saw me wearing these, he said, your cleats look like regular shoes. I think a lot of younger players are still under the impression that the cleats have to look like cleats. They have to be ugly, they gotta be black or blue and have a big tongue that hangs over the laces. I think we're gonna start seeing cooler and cooler cleats as the years go on. So reading a couple specs on these, most interestingly is the bottom here. It says that this is a newly designed sprint frame plate containing metal and secondary TPU studs to provide optimized traction while minimizing weight. It doesn't want to it doesn't want to bend, that's for sure, and I'm not going to I'm not going to try too hard. I don't want to do anything before we get out and get to test these on our feet. It's a pretty stiff shoe so far. Let's go try these on and we'll see if they feel as cool as they look. First reactions of these is that they they fit like Adidas fit. So whatever your size is, go a half size to a full size lower. As I did, I usually wear about 11 and a half or 12. These are 11s and they <coughs> fit pretty good. With the stiffness of the bottom, they actually feel a little bit loose right now just because when I run, I put my foot down, the heel seems to want to come down, but I'm sure that will change as soon as these start to crease a little bit. Let's see, are they holding up still? After one, I don't know, maybe 20 minute run, the gold seems to be holding up good. That's probably gonna quickly change once this gets on dirt or gravel. It actually, it actually feels a lot like my regular tennis shoe here, which is also Adidas. They both got the low ankle. Only difference is the bottoms, obviously. And I run in these all the time, very lightweight. These are very lightweight. I think I'm gonna like these. Again, too early to do a full review on these. Just like gloves, I don't know if I'll ever do a full review of anything unless I've used it for maybe a couple years. I just don't think it's fair to do so. But yeah, these are the Adidas Afterburner 6 cleats. We got some good videos coming up, a lot of videos coming up in the following weeks. But now my wife and daughter are here, so we're gonna take these things off and do some play time. So we'll see you next time. Like, subscribe, do whatever you need to do. See you later. Yeah, it's helicopters. helicopters. That's so cool. I think those are cool. Bye.